in this video we are going to see a problem based on properties of continuous time fourier series the problem is this obtain the fourier series coefficient for the waveform like this x of t is given like this we have to obtain a fourier series coefficient for this hence obtain fourier series coefficients which we call this as g of t we have to obtain the fourier series coefficients only by using this fourier series that means we have to use property so i'll say hence obtain the fourier series coefficients for the waveform using properties so let's start we can make use of this particular waveform which way we have already solved so if i compare this waveform with this i can get certain constant like this so i can say this particular interval has to be minus 2 and this is 2 so that this will become a cycle because this part is going to repeat itself let's compare with a general term so it is quite same so now i can say over here the time period for this waveform is 2 minus minus 2 which is 4 so time period capital T equal to 4 and now the waveform exists from minus 1 to 1 so in this case that is minus T1 to T1 why we are doing this because straight away we are going to put this and we already obtained the AK for this particular waveform so we are going to use this ak directly just by selecting the values of capital t and capital t1 so we have decided the time period over here is 4 and the waveform exists from minus 1 to 1 so straight away i can say capital t1 is 1 
Now we got a k like this along with the a zero. So a k we obtain as one upon k pi into sine two pi by t into k into capital T one. Let's substitute the values of t and t one so that a k will be one upon k pi into sine two pi divided by four multiplied by k into one. So I can say to get cancel. So in the end, I will say a k is nothing but one upon k pi into sine pi by two k. with a0 equal to 2 t1 by t which is nothing but 2 multiplied by 1 upon 4 which is half so a0 is half now so what we got over here is the Fourier series coefficients for this waveform. Now we have to make use of this to get a Fourier series coefficient for this waveform. Let's find out what are the changes happening over here. So what happened to this particular waveform is this waveform got delayed by one unit so that this will shift over here. And at the same time, what had happened? Minus half is getting added so that if I subtract half from 1, it will be 1 by 2. And if I subtract 1 by 2 from 0, it will be minus 1 by 2. So there are two things happen. One is a delay of this waveform by one unit and second 1 by 2 is getting subtracted from the waveform so that we will get this waveform so let's write this so now i can say g of t is formed from x of t only by delaying one unit and subtracting half So now what we are having over here, we are having two signals. This is signal number one and this is signal number two. Linear T property we can use. So let's first concentrate on signal number one. X of T Fourier series coefficients we obtain as a k. The values of a k are this. So I can say now the a k is 1 by k pi into sine pi by 2 into k for k not equal to 0 and it is equal to 1 by 2 for k equal to 0. Now x of t is given a k x of t minus 1. So what is happening? This is delaying or time shifted by one unit. So same shift we will have at the coefficient side meaning I can say now so I can say we can use the time shifting property so what time shifting property 
tells us if x of t going through Fourier series will give you a k then x of t minus t0 through Fourier series expansion will get e raised to minus j k omega 0 t0 into a k since we obtain a k directly we have to just find out this value so now i can say the fourier series coefficient of x of t minus 1 will be b k nothing but e raised to minus j k omega 0 shift is 1 just compare so simply i'll multiply this whole term with a 1 into a k which we already obtained so over here i can say b k as e raised to minus j k omega 0 is 2 pi divided by t and t we obtained as 4 so b k is e raised to minus j k 2 pi by 4 into a k since the fundamental time period is 4 so if you simplify this what will get bk as i will get bk as e raised to minus j k pi by 2 into a k so this particular coefficient i will obtain just because of x of t minus 1 let's find out a coefficient which will contributed by a constant term which is minus half so fourier series coefficient of the dc offset in g of t that is a term minus 1 by 2 will give a coefficient 0 straight away because there is no signal present only a constant is there constant means what whenever i have k equal to 0 whatever value it is going to add which is minus half so i can say ck will be 0 for k not equal to 0 but it will be a minus half for k equal to 0 because it is a constant term or you can say a dc offset so now we got these two values so i can say here the condition is favorable for applying linearity property because the signal that we have which is g of t is nothing but a combination of two signals so definitely we need to consider what is the fourier series coefficient from x of t minus 1 and fourier series coefficient from minus half so that by applying a linearity property we can add those signals to get a final answer so now dk i will consider as a final fourier series coefficient and that will be equal to a k into e raised to minus j k pi by 2 this is for k not equal to 0 what i have done simply i am going to add this two. and whenever i have k equal to 0 it will be 1 by 2 only so i can say a k into e raised to minus j k pi by 2 for k not equal to 0 and for k equal to 0 it will be a 0 minus 1 by 2 because minus 1 by 2 is contributed by the term minus half so this is for k equal to 0 and now we know the value of a k for our case will be 1 by k pi sine pi by 2 into k so let's substitute so finally Fourier series coefficient
will be dk which is nothing but sin pi by 2 into k divided by k pi multiplied by e raised to minus j k pi by 2 this is for k not equal to 0 and a0 we obtained as 1 by 2 only so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 0 for k equal to 0 so this is the final answer so what we have done over here we calculated the Fourier series coefficient by one particular waveform and by using the property without any calculation straight away we calculated Fourier series coefficients for the waveform given thank you